The United Kingdom, UK, House of Lords has discussed the human rights abuses and enactment of draconian laws by President Emerson Nangagwa's regime in Zimbabwe and urged the Southern Africa Development Community, SADC, to put pressure on his government to uphold the rule of law. The issue came to light after one member of the House of Lords condemned the adoption of principles of a legislation that criminalizes citizens' engagement with foreign diplomats as part of the Criminal Law, Codification and Reform Act, whose only agenda, he said was meant to make it a criminal offense for anyone to criticize Nangagwa. There was mayhem at the Harare Magistrates Court, where MDC Alliance activist Makambarero Haruzovich was being sentenced as police beat up his friends and colleagues who were demonstrating against his 14-month custodial sentence. There was mayhem in April 2021 at the Harare Magistrates Court, where MDC Alliance activist Makambarero Haruzovich was being sentenced as police beat up his friends and colleagues who were demonstrating against his 14-month custodial sentence. Lord Ahmed, UK Minister of State said his government was concerned about the suspension of the rule of law in Zimbabwe. He expressed concern over the continued incarceration of pro-democracy activist and MDC Alliance youth leader Makambarero Haruzovich. The UK remains concerned about the political situation in Zimbabwe. We urge the Zimbabwean government to live up to their own constitution. One member noted that there is a need for Zambia, which recently held a peaceful democratic election, and other SADC countries to pressure the Zimbabwean government to facilitate a free and fair election. There is a need to get Zambia and other countries within SADC to put pressure on Zimbabwe. It has got to come from those countries. We can help, but we must make sure that they do that so we get back to a situation by the people of Zimbabwe genuinely holding a free and fair election," she said. The British House of Lords also condemned Nangagwa's regime for persecuting prominent journalist Hopewell Chinono who was arrested three times over trumped-up charges of tweeting and exposing corruption. Commenting on the issue, Chinono said, it is a tragedy that my government continues to persecute me to a point where it is now an issue of discussion in foreign parliaments as seen here today in the British House of Lords. It is embarrassing for a government to continue paying PR companies millions only to get this, he shared the UK House of Lords video.